course, as you know, in 1994, we had this genocide of Tutsis by which many people died and many people were left uh, with either one or two categories of disabilities. So this is a serious case. At least even if you, you are not disabled yourself, you have a, a family member who has a, disabil a disability. So we take it now as our responsibilities, as Rwandans in general, to take these issues serious and then take it forward to find ways in which they can fully be integrated in the community. I made a decision of suspending my studies for the whole year and go for a training on social entrepreneurship. Uh, at that institute, I really got to believe in myself, first of all. I got to know what I'm best at. And also, the catalyst there and my mentors um, revealed other talents in me. Today, I'm a certified and proud social entrepreneur from Rwanda, ready to establish my social project, my independent social project, which will be addressing uh, basically uh, challenges that youth with disabilities in general are facing in the communities of Rwanda because I'm a victim, I worked with many of them and I can see how best we can improve on this system. We want to make this CRPD work because we believe in it, we believe it's a tool for us, we should make it happen, we should make it very effective. So we are all committed to do it. That's why today we have decided to, to set up a network, Pan-African Youth with Disabilities Network, which will work intensively with the government and other youth in the community so as to make uh, our fellows get knowledge and the insight of uh, what the rights, uh, the rights of persons with disabilities are and how best they can advocate for them in such a way of convincing but not of like um, shouting or whatever because we also believe that we, there is a stereotype in the community that youth are very arrogant, you know, they shout, but for us we are not shouting, we just demand in a very negotiating manner with facts, and the fact here is the CRPD. Thank you.